Welcome to Wop Shop Hopping, where we overload ourselves with other people's old stuff. Recently I went on a trip to chilly Melbourne, city of trams, pretty good coffee and unreasonably chilly weather. So let's see how their op shops stack up. And if you're not aware, op shop means thrift or secondhand store. We started with a trip to a local Salvos. Seems like a pretty big one, so let's take the shaky cam walk inside. To me, one of the fun parts of a new op shop is the first time you walk in and have to hunt for the little nooks and crannies where they stash the stuff you're after. Which in my case is console games, books, as you were gents, knickknacks, and other randomness. A sad little trophy sits, abandoned, unwanted, its history and purpose long forgotten, discarded and unloved. I hope you find a new home, little trophy. Ah, I think I found the game stash. It's usually nestled among the DVDs, and in this case we're off to a good start. Half-Life 2, haven't seen a copy of that in a long time. Box is a little bit beat up. I'd grab this except I still have my original from far, far too long ago. This was intriguing, and something in retrospect I wish I'd picked up. PS3 Walking with Dinosaurs. I don't have the move or camera for my PS3, but I suppose I could have found them online easily enough. This would have been fun to play with. I always loved Walking with Dinosaurs. Spotted a stack of Wii games on the other side, as well as a bunch of PC games. This looks like a boxed compilation. I used to love these back in the day. It was kind of a lottery, potentially getting something good you'd never heard of or didn't know much about. I discovered Blade Runner, the adventure game, and Wing Commander Prophecy thanks to awesome compilations like that. But nothing here really made me want to part with any cash. Here's the prerequisite EA Sports games, I swear they just grow on trees in these places. And underneath them, a Warcraft battle chest. I've never played this one to be honest, but I'd have been keen if I believed that the keys inside were unused. Pro tip, they're pretty much always used. Pass. A few more PC games, but I generally don't get PC games these days. There's just no guarantee that they'll even work, and you mostly find copies of The Sims. So unless it's something I'm super keen on, I leave them behind. This looks like rubbish. I'm getting it just to make a GPA episode out of it. This looks so bad, Dave's gonna love it. My shape is none of your business, sir. More PC games again. Nothing I'm super keen on that isn't already in my library somewhere. Wish games were this easy to get when I was a kid, I tell you what. This I thought was pretty cool. A book with plans for a medieval fortress. A Minecraft recipe book. I haven't played Minecraft in a while, but maybe I'll give this a go. This is a nifty idea. This was kind of interesting. We passed an EB that had a little Nintendo museum on the second floor with play lounges, statues, and a history of every console. Kind of nifty and nothing I've ever seen in an EB locally. Next was the Brotherhood of St. Lawrence shop with the awesome graffiti outside, and inside the walls had a bunch of book, magazine, and album covers on it, which I thought was pretty cool. Again, hunting for the geeky bits. And here we are, and this is old school. Action 16, Oceans Below. Some kind of edutainment title, I think. Old school as anything, and in German. Action 16 turned out to be a company name I'd never heard of, but this looks like something I would have owned as a kid. I was always given the edutainment titles, even though I kept asking for Donkey Kong Country, or Zelda, or something fun. Not really my bag, so I left it. Mo Sims. In the VHSs, this is a slice of nostalgia. Found a VHS of Voyager. Back in the day, I always used to look forward to when the Video Easy or Civic, Ask Your Parents Children, would get in new Voyages and DS9s and other shows like that. Streaming wasn't a thing and Aussie TV was rubbish at showing the latest shows. We were usually about three years behind minimum. Next to that was Species, a movie I primarily remember for boobs and terror when I was like 11 or so. But wow, it actually has a really amazing cast. The highlight of this place was the display cabinet with things like this tool VHS pack and these ridiculous Spice Girls dolls. Hard to see on camera, but they had the most terrifying faces. I did find this great shoulder bag for six bucks. Perfect as my old one had just fallen apart. Leaving Melbourne, back in Sydney, where the cold weather isn't always angry at you, and it's time to check one of my regular Vinny stores. Having only relatively recently gotten into collecting PS2 games, this was a hell of a burn. There was some great stuff here, Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, Pop, Sands of Time, Tekken 4, WRC 2, F-35 Challenge, Energy Air Force. Haven't heard of that one. Looks a bit generic. More Medal of Honor, this quirky looking DS game. All going on the maybe pile. Battlefront 2, excuse me Mr. Cold. 
Ooh, the Warriors. This is a rare one in the wild here. Ratchet and Clank, Forza. In the end, I walked away with a few, not all of them. Always gotta whittle down the maybe pile. And I am a natural hoarder. So I try to only get the stuff I really want, lest I drown in unplayed games. Thank God my PC pile of shame is mostly digital. Lastly, my favorite Salvo store. They know me here and sometimes hold interesting stuff for me, which is awesome. Uh, it's some kind of freaky baby Luigi. Oh my God, no. I don't buy too many DVDs or Blu-rays anymore, but I will grab any recordings of live shows that I see. I enjoy Russell Brand's stand-up well enough, and I loved Audio Slave. Rest in peace, Chris Cornell. Ah, now this I thought was going to be an amazing find, and this would have been incredible, except what I didn't realize at the time was that this is the French edition. And since I don't speak a word of French, it's kind of useless to me. So, any French speakers out there want KOTOR 2 for a reasonable price? I don't know how well this show was received, but this was a really kick-ass movie from it, let me tell you. With a great fight between Batman and Vampire Joker in a blood bank. This needed more love. And that's really it for the finds for this episode. I didn't overload myself this time, but I've decided to choose the best and most interesting finds in these videos and award them the Abandoned Trophy. And the first one goes to The Warriors for the PS2. This is a Rockstar developed GTA-S game, certainly a lot of violence and adult themes in it, but you don't get an open world, instead you stick to a series of small arenas with various tasks like tagging buildings and gang fights, as well as various other Warriors gang related stuff. The story doesn't follow the film exactly and starts well before the fateful gang meeting, giving us a chance to see a lot more of the various Warriors like Cleon who didn't get much screen time in the film. This is more of a beat em up than anything else with a good combat engine, and I especially love throwing around opponents. This is also a multiplayer game, with the camera going split screen when player 1 and 2 go in different directions, but coming together when they are close to each other. Don't know how I feel about that, as the camera snapping together can get a bit confusing if a brawl is pulling you around in different directions. Amazon reviews are mostly positive. Stabicus says, I own a lot of games. And by a lot, I mean like over 30,000. That's right, 30,000. I can honestly say, this is in my top 5. Maybe even number one. Hmm, yeah, what the hell. Five stars. Calvin Jordan says, Order this for my son. Very good game for PS2. Four stars. What is wrong with you, mate? I hope your kid's an adult. This game does not mess around. And finally, Amazon user says, Game came were case and disc worked perfectly. Five stars. Five stars indeed, my friend. There's a bunch of different versions of this, and in fact it's been re-released in HD on the PS4. It's a hell of a game, and I'm happy to give it my first abandoned trophy. Thank you for watching this op shopping adventure, and before you say it, yes, I got the idea for the show from LGR and the Amazon bit from How Did This Get Made, but hopefully I've put enough of my own spin on it. Secondhand shopping in Australia is vastly different from anywhere else. The good stuff is way rarer, but man, it feels good when you find something new. And if anyone watching has had that, share it. I love op shopping and you should too. And while you're here, check out Game Pulp Adventures or Dave's new show, Level 1, where he goes through the first level of a classic game. See you next time. Happy hopping.